Right. Uh, this is something that I noticed in Maya recently, and I think other Maya users are going to uh, benefit from it as well. So let's create a very basic scene. Like this, and just add a. So I'm going to try rendering it with Arnold, and I'm, all I'm going to do is just move the camera uh, in a very little amount, like this. But I'm going to do that uh, uh, multiple times quickly, so like this. I'm going to just do something like this. Let's do Arnold, and now it crashed. And overall, I figured that. Uh, uh, when, whenever you're doing something heavy like uh, for example this Arnold rendering or if you're doing something like by first fluid uh, Maya is going to struggle with multi-threading and maybe it is because uh, it wants to do updating of the viewport or the UI at the same time do that task and it just uh, fails to do that and I think it is not the case for all CPUs but uh, for example in my case I have i9-3900 and it is very noticeable in uh, this CPU and in other CPUs it happens rarely but it is uh, still the same case so let's do the t test again but this time all I'm going to do is I'm going to limit the number of threads to maybe like 50 this is uh, maybe around half of the threads that I have. So I'm going to do the render again, and now I can do this as much as I want, and it is now no longer going to crash. As simple as that. And it is the same for most of the tasks. So you can do a test, you can just go, if you want a very stable Maya, just use one thread. And uh, try doing the things that you uh, normally did and you had a crash and uh, in my test it, it rarely happened uh, that my crashes with only one uh, CPU thread and now let's do a bifrost test this scene right now I have uh, I'm using all the threads and let's just hit play and it crashed <laughs> that fast so let's uh, give it a try again but this time I'm going to just use maybe seven threads now if I hit play It is going to simulate just fine and uh, I hope that uh, this video also helps uh, other disk developers figuring out something about these crashings and maybe fix it in the future versions and yeah it is going to just simulate fine and just another tip if uh, even after limiting the CPU threads you still face crashing with uh, Bifrost Fluid uh, something else that you can do is just pause the viewport that way it uh, has one less task to handle at the same time while simulating and it is going to give you a more stable result and that is it